This is the video demonstration of the robot control and sensor functionality. For the purpose of this simulation, Simmons NX concept designer and LabVIEW have been used to simulate the functionality of the tennis ball catching robot. The environment for the simulation represents a tennis court with the required white strips defining its perimeter. Meanwhile, the robot has been imported from Soliwax and the required rigid and collision bases, fixed and hinge joints, plus sensors and signals have all been applied accordingly. The movement of the robot have been defined using a tree axis system starting from the center of the device. As follows, X this way, Y this way, and Z that way. Furthermore, three digital IR sensors are set up at the edge of the feet which can be seen right here, representing its range, for perimeter detection. This is used so that the robot doesn't go outside of the play area on a tennis court. I will now demonstrate the functionality of the robot by using the LabVIEW interface that has been created. The robot can go on the X direction, on the Y direction, and on the Z direction. And it can also go clockwise and anti-clockwise. So for example, now this is the X direction and I'll go towards the edge of the, the perimeter and I'll show the functionality of the sensors. The sensor Y has been triggered, which means that the robot is now not able to go in the direction Y. However, it can still go in the other two directions. So for example, if I go to direction Z, it still works. Direction X it still works. And now that I'm out of the perimeter, I can also go and use the direction Y. To demonstrate again, let's reduce the speed. Let's go be anti-clockwise. Let's make sure that we use this sensor. We want that to be the one that gets triggered. You can see here that the sensor has been triggered. And if I try to go forward with X, it does not work because it will go outside of the perimeter. However, if I use X, uh, Y, or if I use Z, it still works perfectly. And once I'm back in the play area, I can then rotate the robot accordingly and just do any type of movements. I also can increase the speed and just go as fast as needed in order to catch the ball. With all this said, this is the end of the demonstration and thank you for the time dedicated.